This is a split exercise here where I'm going over really what we just talked about and setting up the variables to match the data and then the code to do all three. So it is a three-step process and really this is the right order. Number one, we need to look at the data in the file. Then we need to figure out what data types would support those the best and then the actual code to read. To be honest with you, the code to read is real easy. You just got to get the order right. That's about it. Now, I've thrown a couple get lines in there too because, hey, we, I uh, wish Lapoli was easier. Great, that's a whole string. That's really not, that's a whole sentence. So we're going to use get line for that. Notice I have uh, Sean Lapoli, 1600. I guess that's supposed to be Pennsylvania Avenue. But yeah, that's 1600 is on the wrong line. So, hey, so now how do I know that? File one, two, they're highlighting here. And that 1600 should be on another line because notice, that would just grab the 1600 and then it would just have Pennsylvania still left. So we'd have a problem with that. So when you go back to your notes, you're going to see 1600 on the next page or next line down. Anyway, but notice, I want you to see that I made a mistake. I want you to see how I'm diagnosing it because really the code's telling me what's supposed to happen or what should be happening in the data file. So what I want you to do is go ahead and fin finish up these next two. You're going to tell me what data types to file I use and then the code to read them. And we'll go over that here in a moment. So here's your two solutions here. So we know what the data is, Lindsay Lohan, 23, 1982. So Lohan's gonna be a string, Lindsay's gonna be a string, 23 is an integer. To be honest with you, it should be really probably unsigned integer. Another integer for this one again, unsigned probably would be a better pick. The info for that, because none of that, we're all reading in individual pieces of data. I can get away with that in file and then there's collection brackets on, basically just like a CN. Pretty nice and easy. Again, the order's important. The first one's gonna get, uh, I guess I named it get word, get word, to be honest with you. It probably should be last name, first name, age, and year. But I think what I'm trying to do is just show you it's gonna be to the two strings first and then two integers afterwards. So naming is suspect on this as well. But anyway. For number two, we have a string and then we have four characters. Pretty easy to identify. And again, because I'm not using the get line at all, the in file or overall code to transmit that data and gather it from the file is pretty easy. Again, the order really matters. You've got to get the string first. I'm using word to let us know that we're really getting the string. And then the rest of them are all characters from there on out. So that's how easy the code is. But again, we got to understand the data pattern we got to understand what's going to be our best fit for our data. And then basically the order matters when we end up collecting it from the file.